Hi guys, my name is Megan with the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I want to show you how to use a Moby Move carrier with a six month old putting them on your back. So this will be the back carry with the Moby Move carrier. So this is my son Timmy. He loves to be worn in carriers. <laughs> Once he turned six months old, I started carrying him more on my back. He was just getting a little bit more independent, a little bit more able to control his head. And I also like that once they get bigger, they can be on your back and they're not as much like in your in your way when you're trying to look down at something. So for like pretty much his whole life, up till now, he's been in a wrap or a carrier or a sling on the front of me. But now that he's older, I have really loved wearing him on my back in this carrier. So it, this takes a little bit of practice getting them up on your back, but I thought I would show you because it's gotten really, really easy for us. It's almost easier for me to get him in there by myself than actually put him, help my husband put him on his back. For some reason, I guess we've just gotten really used to it and we both really enjoy it. But I'm just going to put Dimmy down right here so I can show you the carrier. So this is the carrier. It's a soft, structured carrier that attaches with buckles. So here's the waist part. It has this adjustable part here for their legs. So this is just based on how big your baby is. So like if you, if you unsnap these, you can move them. Um, so it would be like right here and here for like a zero to three month old, here and here for a three to nine month old, and then on as far as I can go on either side for a nine month plus old. So this is really adjustable. I just have this one adjusted so that it's going from knee to knee for my son. So that's just really comfortable for them. It gets their legs in that nice M shape position. So just make sure you adjust this over here for the minute. It also has this head support right here. You can either snap it up or down. It also has a little sun protector thing that you can either snap on. You can snap it on instead of, of this. I have it just snapped on the side here so that it's always with the carrier, but I usually don't use this unless we're outside for a long time. So the other week we were out at my grandparents' farm picking apples. We were there for hours and hours. So I put this sun protector on so that he wouldn't get a sunburn on his little bald head. So yeah, it's made of partly mesh, partly fabric. So it's nice and breathable. It's really comfortable and we really enjoy it. So let's just get right into this tutorial. So we're going to adjust the head flap before we get them in because this is going to be impossible to reach back there and adjust this <laughs> once they're in. So if you're just having them in there while you, so like this morning we were doing some chores outside in the chicken yard and I left the flap down because I knew he wouldn't be falling asleep in it. But for most of the time I just attach it up and then it's ready in case he falls asleep so his head doesn't flop backwards. I really, really love how far this comes up so it like totally supports his head. I have some other buckle carriers that it just doesn't come up enough so his head just like hangs back there and I really don't like that. So I just attach this up just like this so you can see these, these buckles are right here on either side. So now this is ready to put on. So you're going to find on the waistband, you're going to find this adjustable part and this is going to go towards you. So on this other side here, it has this pocket and we want this pocket to be on the outside so we can actually get to it. So I'm just gonna face this towards me and I'm gonna put it around to my back and then I can bring these around and attach them. So I want to make sure that this mesh is centered in my back because the, the buckle is kind of off to the side so you wanna center it based on where the, this part is on your back. So once you have it centered, you're just going to buckle these. I like to try to have it a little bit above my hip bones. So my hip bones are right here and I just have it a little bit above that so that it doesn't sag down and you just tighten it as much as you need to on either side. It has two adjustments right here. It feels pretty good right there. Now this is ready for the baby. And this next part is the part that scares people a little bit, but when you're first starting, practice a lot. And I like to practice on our bed. So I'll kneel on our bed so that if he like falls, he won't have very far to fall, only like to where my knees are and he'll land on the bed. So when you're gonna be practicing trying to get them back to your back by yourself without any help, you're gonna wanna probably practice either like standing by your couch. So if I wanted to practice, I could stand like with where he's gonna be where if he fell backwards, he fell on the couch. We're to the point now with this that I don't need to do that. I feel pretty confident in getting him in and out of here and he's never fallen. Even when I used to kneel on our bed, he never actually fell out. It's just nice to have the comfort of knowing that just in case, they wouldn't like land on the hard floor or anything really serious. So I always like to put him in going around the right. It's probably because I'm right-handed that I feel more comfortable with that, but you can go either way. It really doesn't matter at all. Hey buddy, he's a little fussy because he's teething, so we'll see how this goes. So I'm just gonna rest him on my hip like this, and I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna support him with this hand, and then I'm gonna put this arm over his head and kind of get him behind my arm just like this. 
and then I'm gonna grab him at the center on my back. So I just grabbed him up and now he is on my back. Hi hey, everybody. So now I'm gonna grab this, this side and put it up over my shoulder. And then I use this hand to try to flatten it over his butt so I know what's going on, right? And then I just grab this side and to make sure this isn't twisted. See, just there it was twisted, so I had to fix it. And then I pull it up over the shoulder. So now he's back there. And you want the arms to come under that strap right there, just like how that one is. This other arm is up, so I'm just gonna take this one off. Oh, and this thing is twisted. So I'm gonna untwist this and I'm gonna put his arm underneath that strap just like that. So now that looks really good. So always just keep that in mind that you can take off the shoulder strap and adjust whatever you need to adjust and then put it back on. So then now you take this chest strap and you're just gonna buckle it right there so that it doesn't slip off your shoulders. And now this is feeling really nice and secure. And you can see that flap is up next to his head so that if he falls asleep, he's gonna be nice and secure. And this sand protector is only attached to one side, so if we wanted to use it, I would have had to snap it onto the other side. And then this, these are long enough that you kind of can like lift it up and it snaps onto your shoulder, but it would need to have the lower one attached to the side to do that. But it's not very hard to do that part. So yeah, he is in here and these shoulder straps are nice and squishy and padded, so this doesn't get very uncomfortable. The only part that gets a little bit uncomfortable after wearing this for hours is the this part. I don't know if it's my hip bones do stick out a lot because I'm on the skinnier side. So after a while it starts to rub. So I'll just adjust it. I might like bring it higher or I'll loosen it and lower it. So I do adjust this somewhat as I wear it for a long time. But you can see that's under his butt really nicely. If you don't get it all the way under his butt, the back of this part will pull out on the top and then this bottom, the bottom of this will like stab it into your back and that's not very uncomfortable. But that feels really nice and comfy and he is very secure. He is like totally ready to take a nap while I get some work done. But you still, even though he's on my back, I still do like keep in mind some safety checks. So you do still want their legs in an M position. So you can see that his legs are not hanging down. All this fabric because of how we adjusted it is going from knee to knee. So his knees are up here. So it goes from his knees down to his butt. So you can see this is kind of an M shaped position right here. And so that's really good. That's gonna feel comfortable on his hips. So you would just wanna make sure that their nose is visible. Like if you walk by a mirror, you wanna be able to see their nose. And now that he is seven months old, he is a lot more able to pull his face out of the fabric if, he, if it gets in there. I would not put, especially a newborn, and any much younger than him, I really wouldn't put it in, in the back carry because I can't always see his face. But for his age and any older, I feel totally comfortable doing it because even if he's asleep, if he gets his face in the fabric, he'll be able to pull it out himself. But you can see that the headrest that he has isn't tall enough that it's gonna restrict like his breathing or his airway or even his sight. It's just gonna help it so that if he falls asleep, it won't like, you won't hurt his neck. And then to take him out, you're just gonna reverse all the steps that you did to get him in. So I'm just gonna unbuckle this part right here. I'm just gonna take off this shoulder. I'm gonna reach around the back and hold him with his hand while I take this off. Just make sure that his hands aren't wound up in it so it looks like his hand's stuck here. So I'm just gonna take that out there. And hold him with this hand and then take off this side. And then I can kind of just slide him over like this. Like that and then he's out <laughs> so it definitely takes quite a bit of practice to get, to get them in and out but once you feel comfortable with it it is so nice to be able to put them on your back and then i just take that off my waist and we're or completely out so yeah that's why you do the back carry in the moby move carrier there's a bunch of other carries you can do if you guys are interested in seeing more baby wear videos I have a very large baby run playlist that I will link down below, but I show how to use all sorts of carriers from wraps to woven wraps to slings to more of soft structure carriers with buckles like this. So if you guys are wanting to learn more about this or you want to see different brands of wraps or just whatever you want to see, if I don't have the video, please let me know in the comments for any baby wearing video requests and I will be happy to do them. But he's just perfectly content back here, so I am going to go and some apple pie filling because it is canning season here and this is one thing I really like about baby wearing is that I can just get all my work done with an infant. So thank you for watching this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!